What's up everyone, Big Dan here, and today we're going to explore what happens if you save the Rachni Queen in Mass Effect 3. Before we begin, I have a bunch of different Mass Effect trilogy guides and lore videos on my channel, so if you want to see more, consider subscribing. Before priority to Chunka, you'll receive a mission from the leader of Clan Erdnot to investigate rumors of Rachni activity in the Attican Traverse. During the mission, you'll discover that the Reapers have enslaved the Rachni Queen and have been using her to breed Ravagers and Swarmers. You have the option to save the Rachni Queen and help her escape, or leave her to die. The outcome will depend on your decision with the Rachni Queen in Mass Effect 1. If you save the Rachni Queen in Mass Effect 1, then saving her again in Mass Effect 3 allows you to recruit her for the war effort. Are you capable of fighting the Reapers? We hate the Marines. We will fight for our unborn children. Really us. Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here. Our that company dies. Is that clear? Listen up. Our lad company holds the Rachne off while the Queen escapes. We'll buy you some time. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. Damn you, Shepard! I'm leaving my team! On my way! Admiral Hackett will comment on this. Reviewing a report on the Rachni situation, Commander. This could have gotten complicated fast. I hope you know what you're doing, cutting a deal with the Rachni Queen. We got burned last time. I'm trusting your instincts, Commander. We can count on her support, Admiral. I hope so. But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rachni troops and picked up some additional Krogan support. I call that a victory. I heard you made some kind of deal with the Rachni Queen. If they get out of hand again, it's your ass on the line. Understood. The Rachni workers are worth 100 war assets. However, if you destroyed the Rachni Queen in Mass Effect 1, things go a bit differently. Using DNA recovered from the Novaria facility, the Reapers were able to create a clone of the Rachni Queen. How is this possible? I destroyed the last Rachni Queen. I am not Queen. Not proud Rachni. Alone. The monster shaped to make hollow children. If you help the cloned Breeder Queen escape the facility, Admiral Hackett will express his doubts about the commitment. I'm reviewing a report on the Rachni situation, Commander. This could have gotten complicated fast. Making an ally out of that Rachni surrogate was a risky move. We need all the help we can get, but I have some serious doubts on this one. Noted, sir. In my playthrough, I was also confronted by Erdnot Reeve for saving the Breeder Queen. Shepard, your report says you made a deal with the Rachni. And not even Rachni, but some hacked together reaper monster you were sent to destroy them i don't answer to you reeve you were happy to hand this over to me so you don't get to whine about the results you dare this discussion is done now what else do you want we have long memories shepherd the deaths of so many krogan to save this abomination it will be remembered Understood. Let's hope the matter is finished now. If you check your war assets list, you might notice that the Rachni Queen has not been added, despite being recruited to work on the Crucible. Well, that's because this alliance doesn't last. After the Horizon mission, you will receive an update called Breeder Queen Betrayal, which updates the log of the Alliance Engineering Corps. This update details the Rachni betrayal. The last reports from the AEC were little more than officers screaming about Rachni flooding into their barracks, scything unsuspecting scientists. After a brave but brief battle, the core of the Alliance Engineering Corps was wiped out by their traitorous alien quote-unquote allies. This reduces the war asset score of the Alliance Engineering Corps by 100. If you talk to Admiral Hackett, he shuts down the subject. What about the Rachni? You don't really want to go there again, do you, Shepard? The giant mutated Reaper control spiders didn't work out. Let's move on. So what about Grunt and Arlac Company? 
If you decide to spare the Rachni Queen, Arlok Company gets wiped out by Ravagers to cover her escape. Grunt will only survive the mission if you completed his loyalty quest in Mass Effect 2, in which case he will make it back to the shuttle after covering your escape. Grunt! Anybody got something to eat? Uh. So there you have it. If you save the Rachni Queen in Mass Effect 1, and then again in Mass Effect 3, you will gain 100 war assets, but lose Arlac Company. If you killed the Rachni Queen in Mass Effect 1, but saved the Breeder Queen in Mass Effect 3, you will also lose Arlac Company, and the Queen will betray you, wiping out a good portion of the Alliance Engineering Corps. Grunt will live or die, depending on whether you completed his loyalty mission in Mass Effect 2. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Mass Effect and RPG videos. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. See ya!